When you go to Dar es Salaam, I will be happy to meet those other Africans who, was, who had that exposure to the other part of the world, not only Africa. By that way, we will do a lot of things. I think you're following the history of this world and you know the Indians. Indians were been taken to England and the other places of the world as cheap labor. Germany, England, America. The Indians become so wise, they went to India, they get back to India and started the big industries. They went back and invest. The owner of the family that owns Tata, the, car, the, the brand of their vehicle Tata, oh, yes. is the duplicate, is the photocopy of Mercedes Benz. Woo. It's because they were working for Mercedes Benz as the cheap labor. Uh -huh. they knew. So they just pick the technology, put it together, back to India, Tata. We can learn a lot from them. So we're learning. We are... I was talking to a friend from South Africa. He was here just four days ago, before you arrived. Four days before you arrived. And we were talking of life challenges. And I, I say to him, look, look very stupid outside but be very wise inside <laughs> don't tell to them what you want to do act like you are nothing but come up with big big uh, outcome of what you think because if you show them what you think they will try the way to block you but if you're just like being a stupid person you say yes oh, okay that's fine oh okay when you when you're far from them you sit and make a plan by that way you do things that they have not noticed and then they will not catch you there is no person driving a motor car a nice ford will be passed by a person cycling because it's two different power you're using muscles and that person is using piston to burn the fuel to get power and more the, the, the speed is going to be totally different but if you don't tell the person that I'm going to pass you I'm going to overtake you you can even pass him by using bicycle because he's doing his things maybe talking to his phone yeah. driving in the speed of 20 km per hour you just hit the road downhill by the time you realize the bicycle has passed the you're jeep, all set, you got your already set. And so it can work. It can work. This for the for 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 for, for one of uh, a priest. He is is a Dutch. He was living in my village. There's two things he never accepted: impossible, and I can't. He will not talk to you anymore. If you say, I can't do this, then the friendship ends there. If you say, this is impossible, that is the end of friendship. Because he will say, how comes these things are made for us and you say impossible? So as Africans, we can, we can make it. Dio. Asante. <laughs> Dio Asante. So uh, the reason I get into this story is that we're going to meet other Africans. Dar es Salaam and uh, the Africans will see in Dar es Salaam it's going to be part of the chain we'll get to put more chain bigger and bigger uh, the only way you can win the war is not to to hate your enemy the only way you can win the war is not to tell your enemy that I'm your enemy just keep quiet just be wise inside just do your things and finally by the time he or she realize you're gone by the time they they realize africa for africans it's already a big organization and they have nothing to do in currently in the country eugene is doing i'm not i'm not really in it but i'm just part of it uh tanzania tourist board has come up with a new idea instead of tourism to be only for foreigners now they are putting up strategies 
that the tourism is for the locals and the foreigners are going to be just the feeder. We don't wait for foreigners from Germany, Spain, anywhere else to come and publish the photographs of our elephants. We will go out, we'll encourage our people, we'll give them energy for them to go out, take photos. Today the social medias are there, they will put uh, into the social media, then people will see that there is Tanzania, there is elephants, there are lots of things. So that's what we currently do. It just started after this pandemic, because before pandemic nobody was even thinking of tourism. People were doing their own lives. But then after pandemic they realized that oh, there was an income from tourism. To bring back tourism, I mean in terms of people from overseas, it's difficult not easy so what we can do we're going to encourage our people we're going to make a smooth way for our people to go into the national parks to enjoy what we have give them uh, more wide understanding about what life because to the locals if you go to a national park after a few minutes that person will feel like I can see this elephant but if, you, if somebody will be there to tell about animal behavior, people will be like, wow, I love this. Um, and that, that's what is, what is the mission, that was the program, to make sure that Tanzanians will love wildlife, will love the nature. And then some lots of, we, we Africans will love a lot of entertainment. So we'll put a program that will have a lot of entertainment for people to visit national parks, people to go to, to our cultural places. Thanks God that like here in Arusha we go a lot to like where we were today. Um, so learning and more understanding about our culture. As I said yesterday, people are trying to go back to the roots, trying to get information about things that have been happening for many years. Uh, if that will be successful, then expect in next 10 years when you come here, you will not see a lot of foreigners at the cultural center like that. You will see a lot of people from here. If you don't be proud of yourself, nobody will be proud of you. Teach. That's what we teaching our people. Uh, it's not yet in the school syllabus, but maybe in future it comes into school syllabus that uh, you need to be proud of your own things that you have. <coughs> if you don't see it, people will take it. If you see it, it's difficult to be taken. So that's what we try to, to do. If at the time we get to Dar es Salaam tomorrow, you'll see we have been mentioning to you that there's a lot of people in Dar es Salaam. I think we're getting there in the evening. The exact time, a lot of people are done with their work, their duties, they are going home. The sides of the road, like, they will be full of people walking. Um, not that because they don't have transport, it's because of the traffic jam. And secondly, after this pandemic, everybody's looking for a way to do exercise. Yes, yes. And the only way you can do the good exercise is leaving the car at home, go to your walk, to your job by foot. Whether you're a manager, you, whether you're a normal uh, staff, you walk down to your job, two, three kilometers, slowly so that you don't sweat, but then you walk back to, to your place, you move fast, so that by the time you get home, there's a, lot of, a little bit of sweat out of your body. And that's helping a lot of people. People are, doing it. I don't know what will happen after the pandemic. I don't know. Maybe people, will, once the, the pandemic is out, the people will just relax and say, okay, now, let us get back to our normal life. I don't know. Uh, one thing, I have seen some of you have got itches. Please do not forget to put repellent when you go like out uh, after it's sunset after it's dark because that's the time most of the little bugs not only small bugs not only uh, mosquitoes 
and there are other small bugs like when we was up there where there's grass you can bite but it's not possible and uh sorry i cannot specify it it's uh to me i don't get any irritation i don't get any problem i, I don't know maybe i'm used to but for you you need to put on your repellent um, over the rain season it gets very bad but now it's still okay.